Welcome to another video. So today I'm so excited to be filming this video. It's been a long time coming on this gorgeous fall day. Okay, I've got my candle going. Like who am I? I've got a candle. I have a blurry background. My kids are making noise. You guys stop! Hello everybody, I am so happy you're here. Today I'm filming a video about mops. I am looking for the perfect mop and I hope that I found it. I'm not sure yet because I've only used it a couple times. But today in this video, I'll be showing you three mops that I've used to replace the one I have now. And I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm replacing it. I am keeping one of them. And today we're just gonna go straight into it and check out these cool mops. So the mop I have, it's a... Oh, let me go get it. I have come back. This is the one I have right now, okay? It's... You, you put water into one side, you don't put water into the other side, and then you have this, the mop. It's clean. You have this, and then you put it in the wet side, and then you dry it. And Instagram actually gave me an ad that said, hey, you should buy this mop. And I thought, yes, I need a mop because I just moved into this new house that has tons of flooring that I need a mop and not, well, not vacuum, but I have to mop it anyway. This said mop arrives, and I started mopping the floor and I noticed that my floor has a bunch of wet marks on it. The, the water dries and it looks bad. It just continues to look messy and dirty. I would mop with this and I would go over the floor a couple times to make it as clean as possible. I would go over it with a window washer and with a rag on it and I would dry it. It would take me like at least an hour to wash just the bottom of my house and I hated it, okay? I struggled with that for a whole year. And for my birthday, I asked for a mop. And one of my, one of my moms, my mom-in-law, <laughs> she purchased for me a mop, which is this one, this spin mop. When I got it, I was super excited and I used it and it was awesome. What I love about it, this mop right here, it's so beautiful. It has these two buttons, the top one, you turn it on oh. and then you there's a button inside here okay that's right. there's a button inside here that you spray the water and it sprays water and then you go over and you mop it i'm moving around too much i'm sorry pluses it's super duper easy to use it mops your floor it's kid friendly it, the handle adjusts it can go up and down and it's quiet it's really quiet and it's just bougie to use. It's just nice. Like it's fun to push around. It also comes with a, a like mop attachments that are for waxing the floor. If I really wanted to, I could like mop the floor with the pad, the pink pads, and then I could change out the pads and then dry the floor with the gray pads, and it actually worked. And my floors were looking really good. The biggest downside to this mop was that after it dried, I could see spin marks all over my floor and that just bothered me enough that I wanted to try a different mop. And I felt like a steam mop would be a perfect option. Not a spin mop, a steam mop. And if you have a regular floor that is not super picky like my floor, such as this one in my kitchen, I have tile floors and you can't really tell when they're dirty or when the water dries, it, it still looks just as fine. And so if you have flooring like this, like gray um, or just not picky floor, then the spin mop will be, you will love it. It will be great. I just, it bothered me. So I decided to go out and try a steam mop. So this mop is the Bissell steam mop. And it's pretty simple. You just fill this container up with um, distilled water. 
This container lasts me pretty much my whole house, depending on how fast I go and how fast, how dirty my floor is. And you pop it in, turn it on. I like to do the medium and it makes a noise. And you're good to go. I am mopping. Like that's how easy it is to mop with this. I am doing most of the work, so like I'm pushing it and I'm pulling it and it's not too bad, it's not too hard, but doing my whole floor with this, my whole house, that would be kind of tough. So that was the Vassell steam mop and it didn't do a bad job actually. It does a pretty good job and it's pretty user friendly, it's pretty easy for me to push. If I don't, if I do my whole house, then it's going to be pretty hard on my back, my back is going to hurt by the end of the by the end of the mopping session. The whole mopping session with the Bissell steam mop, it all goes pretty quick. I think my whole house would take like maximum 40 minutes. The huge plus to a steam mop, if your floor isn't picky like mine, my floor is just super picky. But if your floor is not picky and it just, you can't really tell that it's dirty when it's dirty and if water dries, you don't see any wet spots any like re residue or anything then the steam mop could be perfect for you and if you're okay with it just pushing a little bit harder than the spin mop it's not bad it's not bad to push it like i wasn't having that hard of a time but at the end of mopping my whole downstairs then my back was hurting a little bit but a huge plus is that it disinfects and all you use is distilled water and not even a lot of it and I do miss it. I miss, I miss it a lot. I would highly recommend a steam mop if you haven't tried one and you're looking for a new mop. The Bissell steam mop was perfect. It just wasn't for me. I decided to try out this last mop, which is the Nelly's Wow Mop. Wow. Which is the Nelly's Wow Mop. I love this mop. So far, I love it. Okay, this has two buttons. I love that the buttons are both here. The Nelly's mop, what's different about that is the scrubbers, so the first one it scrubs and the back one it dries and you can see it working here. And it still leaves, like I'm not going to say that it's perfect, it leaves my floor super super shiny, but out of all the mops I've tried so far, it scrubs my floor and then it dries it. And if I if it, if the back one gets too wet, I have I can, I have other, you know, I have extra scrubbers that I can replace and continue mopping my floor. The Nelly's mop is super easy to use. It just glides on my floor and it just glides. I don't have to like put too much elbow power into it, back power, I don't have to like bent over. <laughs> if you haven't guessed it yet, the mop that I decided to keep is the Wow Nelly mop because it works the best for me right now. Let me know if this was helpful at all. I hope it was helpful. This video wasn't super in-depth in any, in any of these mops, but it can be. So if you want something that's super in-depth with any of the mops, um, then let me know. Have fun mopping your floor and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.